are now used by plastic surgeons, nurses and doctors for skin repair and wound healing. The creams have also shown incredible life and limb saving results in diabetic ulcer care. She's also the founder of Sister Jenny Byrne Foundation, a non-profit organization helping people in need, especially children, improving their quality of life and post-burn trauma. She's been joined by a team of medical experts and others who share her vision who are assisting to take her mission of healing those in need. Sister Jenny will be discussing her journey, resulting in the creation of the Burn Foundation that is very close to her heart, the prevalence of burn wounds and her award-winning skincare range. Her extensive experience and knowledge have been instrumental in helping burn victims, including the development of a burn and wound skincare range. Her range of natural healing creams is scientifically proven to hydrate the skin and re most recently very successful in diabetic ulcer care. Welcome Sister Jenny to the stage. Hi, can you hear me? Yes, sir. Welcome everybody to the GP Expo. It's so fantastic to be here. Good morning, ladies and gentlemen. It's such a delight for me to be here today to speak to you about the passion of my whole life, which is helping people heal from burns and wounds. When I was a child, I was very um, emotionally traumatized. I was very deeply concerned about the way people were traumatized by the results of their skin being healed. But, sorry, let me start again. When I was a child, I was deeply concerned about the emotional trauma that people experience when their skin is damaged by burns. My aunt was in a terrible air crash. She literally jumped through burning flames. She was one of two survivors. And she managed to survive, but she was very badly burned and had to learn to work again, walk again. And my poor grandmother, she stood with her bum next to a heater. And you know the old fashioned bar heaters? She set her bum on fire. And she had to lie on her stomach for six months in the most excruciating agony while my mom did dressings on her. And I watched this, I just couldn't bear to watch my grandmother suffering. There were so many people in my life that got burned. The pain that she went through was terrible. But this made me extremely compassionate and I felt this burning desire to find a way to help the skin of burn victims. I became a qualified nurse and I worked in the hospital for 18 years. So even when I worked in the hospital, I really started learning about the healing properties of plants. And this, this was very important to learn how to heal burn victims. But I didn't just make a product that heals burns and wounds. I made a product that heals skin as well. So after the 18 years of working in the hospital, I started my own wound care practice. And I went to a podiatrist who mentored me. And he helped me to make a product for feet. Well, he guided me what he wanted to make for feet. He gave me this long list of things he wanted me to make. But at the end of the two and a half years, I finally got the, um, the solution right. I finally got the formulation right. But the thing is that I wasn't satisfied because I wanted the skin to heal from open wounds and burns as well, not just damaged feet. You see, the reason why I worked on damaged feet is because so many people in the hospital were having leg amputations from a simple thing like a crack in a foot. So I was absolutely determined to stop them losing their legs. In my first month of nursing, a 
26 year old man died from a hole in the backside from diabetes. Can you imagine? 26 years old, he died from a hole in the backside. So I created a cream. I started a root care practice after the 18 years, and I specialized in reflexology and aromatherapy. And eventually, I created the most unusual cream, the most unusual cream, that instantly, within one minute, your skin changes, the texture of your skin changes. But the same cream can be used in an open wound. And anybody who doesn't believe me can actually come to my stand just now and um, can the presentation. And anybody who doesn't believe me can actually come to my stand and see for yourself how your skin changes within one minute. Literally one minute. So after I created this very unusual cream, which is quite mind blowing. I took it to doctors, nurses, dermatologists to have it tested. And they used it on their patients with the most phenomenal results you have ever seen. And right now, we actually, uh, I would like to show you the screen of this patient uh, in Canada. Right now, we're actually using the screen on a patient in Canada and a medical doctor. If you go back one slide, Sean, just go back one slide, you'll see I've got a handwritten letter from a doctor who's used this cream on a patient in Canada. The dermatologist has given approval and the woman was asked, I don't know if you can read on the slide, but it said she opted to medically end her life. That's like euthanasia. And now if you go to the next slide, you'll see that this woman has literally got her foot back. So we've done some clinical trials. We tested the cream for skin irritation at the Dinsa. We tested it for microbiology to make sure there's no bacteria, viruses, fungi, pseudomonas, staphylococcus, and all the things that could make a wound worse instead of better. And then we also tested it for the instant hydration because the formulation of essential oils, herbs and vegetable oils that creates such deep hydration is also able to create elasticity and skin regeneration. So now I've received a lot of international awards and even South African awards and the products become a world famous brand. And we have nappy codes, and the products now are used by surgeons and plastic surgeons. I just want to tell you that patient that you saw with that very bad leg ulcer has had that leg ulcer for eight years. And now, if you have a look at them, this is what it does in one minute. And if you look at the next slide, this diabetic foot healed completely within eight weeks. This woman already had a leg amputation. But she, you won't believe me when she had her foot healed, she cried. Now why would she cry that her foot was healed? She actually got her foot back. The reason she cried is because she said to me these exact words, if it's so easy to heal my foot, how could they have taken away my other leg? She was heartbroken because she lost the one leg and this is the second leg that we managed to save. So we started assisting numerous people all over the world with, and my reputation and the product reputation spread internationally. But now there were two very unusual situations that happened. Uh, there were two children in Zimbabwe who had very severe burns. And this was my interview, just go back one slide. I was interviewed in China because of that other diabetic foot. Because it caused such a stir that China decided to interview me on TV. 
So now I'm going to show you about this child. There were two children, both had the most severe burn to the ever seen. The first child, very shortly after, was discharged from ICU. They used the cream on his skin and he had the most phenomenal healing. And if you come to my stand, you can actually watch the video where this child says, Thank you, Sister Jenny, for healing my skin. My face looks exactly like it was before I got hurt. Come and watch the video. But now look at the next picture. And this is a child, also got burned at the same time, and this child did not use the cream. But the child's mom came to buy the cream, but the hospital refused to use the cream. And if you look at this message at the bottom of the WhatsApp that I received, it says, this is the child staying with the grandmother that got burned, and the hospital, they said, she can't use the sister doing cream. It's so sad that the grandmother did not insist that the baby could use the cream and sadly the child's still in hospital two months later. And then about a few days later they sent me another picture. Can you see the second picture? The second picture is the same child. A few days later and they said they're now using the cream. She's asking if you can find the cream is in because she's regretting if they had used it. In other words, they wish they'd used it sooner because the baby was, was discharged, the wounds were still fresh, and as soon as they used it for three days, there was such a remarkable difference. So this is absolutely heartbreaking because, well, the child doesn't look that bad now, her face is pretty ill. She's still got some damage, but she doesn't look as good as the first child. So I was discussing this with the professor, and he was saying, what can we do to bring awareness when there's something can make, that can make this much of a difference? And she encouraged me to start a burn foundation. So now, one of the things I learned that the cream needs to be used as soon as possible. The wound needs to be covered as much as possible to avoid the keloid from forming. And we've helped so many people with the most terrible keloids as well. And to reduce the scarring. Um, compliance is very important. They need to use the cream until the wound is completely healed. After seeing these very unusual results, as I said, we decided to start the Sister Jenny Burke Foundation. And I'd just like to call up my colleagues, please. Can you come up? All of you. All of you, you too. Bring the camera away. And I want to introduce you to our beautiful team. And there's just a few members here today. There's more in my stand. And we now have the most amazing team, the Sister Jenny Bird Foundation. And this is the culmination of a lifetime student. We have a professional team. If you look, we even have a professor of microbiology, Professor Michael Shani Nichabene. We also have a fireman who is very highly qualified and helps us to train people to prevent burns. We have a whole lot of sisters, quite a few nursing sisters. We have a, a physiotherapist, we have a psychologist, we have a trauma counselor. We have a team of the most amazing people. And just recently we went to a, a home for people with disability where we actually taught the, the caregivers to give wound care so that the patients could be healed because you know in these Homes for disability, they have the most terrible, terrible pressure source. So now I'm going to tell you about our Sister Jenny Byrne Foundation. We started in 2021, but we've only recently been given PBO status. And we are doing the most amazing work. We're working tirelessly 
to bring awareness to burn injuries and to advocate for better access for all people with burns and we want to help those who cannot necessarily afford to be helped because you can't turn a person down. I just want to share with you that I've had people sitting outside my office on the pavement with these septic roots crying and saying, I need my room cared for. And, and obviously I'm going to take them in and dress their wounds and give them cream. But we can't do all of this forever for free. I've been doing it for years, loving my heart for free. And now we need support. So we use a specific way of doing this. We call it ECTOS. Education, which is to prevent the birds, to educate the family, to do the bird physio. We're going to create manuals and various things. We do counselling, various different forms of counselling and treatment of skin. Now the way we treat the skin is with the Sister Jenny Malta Purpose Group, which is now proven to help the most terrible keloids, the most severe birds. If you come to my stand, you can see pictures of third degree birds that are killed. And we, we're not just doing this to promote it, we're doing it with so much love. But we need support. These are some of the keloids that have healed. This woman was burnt by acid. Can you imagine someone did this to this woman deliberately? A jealous boyfriend threw acid at this woman's face. It's just heartbreaking. And we were very grateful that we were able to. This isn't even the last picture. We've made such a difference to this woman's face. When she walks into my office, I can't even recognize that it's the same person. So I really hope that you will support us in some way. We need all kinds of support. Not only monetary support. Any medical companies want to donate us dressing packs. We give dressing packs to the patients. We do dressings. As I said, we treat them emotionally psychologically in the best way possible. We are doing everything from our side to support them, but we need support. So anybody who wants to come on board, partner with us, help us to spread the word. We're going around the world telling everybody about it. This video that we're taking now is actually going to be shown in America. I don't know if you know, I'm actually an author of poetry. And we all got together, we wrote a book called Motherhood Honesty. 37 women got together and wrote this book. And this, this whole video is going to be shown to all these people in America. And the people in Canada are also going to be watching. So let's heal the world together. Please come and join Sister Jenny Bird Foundation. Come and help us. Let's find a way to heal the bird victims. Please help us save more diabetics. We want to see the full letter from the medical doctor. There's so many lives that we can help. So many lives that have already been helped. And remember that I've done this for 30 years. This isn't a five minute story. This is 30 years. I've got so much research, but I can't do it all alone. Thank you. God bless you all. Sister Jenny, thank you so much. Um, I must tell you, in the, the run-up to this conference and this expo, the, the interaction I've had with Sister Jenny and her passion for what she does is just almost insurmountable. Um, she, she, she exudes passion over, over the phone. She's exuded passion on the stage for what she does. Please go and have a chat with her and her team at her stand. Um, have a look at her creams. Um, I, I, it brings to mind what you're saying about help us heal the world and and integrating our scientific knowledge as, as professionals with a lot of creativity, of writing poetry, um, of, of reaching out, of, of having a work-life balance. I'm, I know I'm giving a synopsis of what, what we've already spoken about, but it's amazing how much more in tune with ourselves and the people around us we have become. Um, I read a study that Harvard has been doing since 1938 about people who retired and they missed one very crucial element in what was missing in people's lives when they retired. And the people who they spoke with, who had retired, said they missed their work relationships and their interactions with their professionals and their people around them. And that those people who had engaged with, with more people after they retired 
and had engaged in, in activities and social outreach programs had fared much better than those people who had retired and just gone and sat at home and started a, a hobby. So I found that really pertinent to what we've been going to be doing here over the next two days is making connections, speaking to our professionals, being around our professional people and just being able to share that time again and not be isolated. So thank you everybody for coming out. Sister Jenny, thank you so much for your passion. Um, are there any questions for Sister Jenny before I introduce our next speaker? No questions? Please feel free, please go and see um, Sister Jenny, your stand number.